Hi, so in this video we are going to take three solved examples based on probability and all of them are slightly tricky. The first problem statement over here says if a coin is tossed three times, find the probability that no two successive tosses show the same face. So if a coin is tossed three times, the tree diagram for these tosses will be something like this, right? So this is a tree diagram. These are the eight possible outcomes of these three consecutive tosses. And if I write them in the set, the solution space will look something like this. And these will be all the possible outcomes when we toss a coin for three times. And all of them are equal probable because the coin is fair. So what do we have to find? We have to find the probability that no two successive tosses show the same face. So if we look at this set, we have only two favorable outcomes. One is head, tails and head. Another one is tail, head and tail. Otherwise, in all the outcomes, there are at least two consecutive tosses which shows the same face. Here all the tosses shows heads. Here the first two shows heads. And in this case the last two shows tails. The last two over here shows heads. Here two consecutive tails and here all the three of them are tails. Right? So what will be the probability? Probability is number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So how many total favorable outcomes are over here? We, here we have total two favorable outcomes and total number of outcomes over here is 8 and this will be equal to 1 by 4. So the probability that no two successive tosses shows the same face is actually 1 by 4. So it was very simple. The only trick was to identify the favorable outcome. And now we are going to take the second problem. So here we have a second problem statement. The problem statement says if eight boys are arranged in a row, what is the probability that three particular boys will sit together. So this is the formula for the probability. And suppose if we have eight boys like this who are needs to be arranged in a row, then the total number of ways in which these boys can be arranged will be actually eight factorial. This we have learned in permutation, right? And now if we talk about the number of favorable outcomes, what is the favorable outcome? That three particular boys are sitting together. So if these three particular boys sit together, we have to count them as single entity, right? And if we count them as single entity, then we have total six number of entities which are supposed to be arranged. Then the number of favorable outcomes will be equal to six factorial because these six different entities can be arranged in six factorial ways. But these three people, these three boys can shift places among themselves and they can shift places in three factorial ways. There are three places consecutive to each other where these three people can exchange their places. So the number of ways in which these three people can sit in three consecutive places is actually three factorial. So total number of favorable outcomes will actually be six factorial multiplied by three factorial, right? And what will be the probability? Probability that these three people sit together will actually be six factorial multiplied by three factorial divided by eight factorial. And this will be equal to 6 factorial multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 factorial. The 6 factorial will cancel this 6 factorial. 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8 and this will be total 3 divided by 7 4s are 28. So this will be the probability that 3 particular boys will sit together when you are arranging 8 number of boys in a row. Right. So this was the second problem. And after this, we have one more problem. Again, a very simple one. So let me erase all this. So here we have a third problem. The problem statement says if five digit numbers are formed using one, two till nine without repetition, without repetition is very important. Then what is the probability that it will be an even number? So how many total five digit numbers can be formed using these nine digits from one to nine? It will be total 9P5, right? And the formula for NPR is actually equal to N factorial divided by 
n minus r factorial right so this will be equal to 9 factorial divided by 9 minus 5 factorial which will be equal to 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial I'm not solving it right now we'll solve it later so this will be the total number of five digit numbers which can be formed using digits from one to nine without repeating and what we have to find we have to find the probability that this number will be an even number so the favorable outcomes are the numbers which are even numbers right so suppose if we have five places one two three four and five places which are supposed to be filled for these numbers to be even numbers this place this unit place can have either a 2 or a 4 or a 6 or it can have an 8 right and if we fix a number over here then for this place we will have total 8 choices and for this place we'll have 7 choices and for this we'll have 6 choices and for this place we will have total 5 choices so total number of even numbers made out of digits from 1 to 9 will actually be equal to 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 and for this unit place we have total 4 number of choices so multiplied by 4 right so these will be the total number of even numbers which can be formed using digits from 1 to 9 so what will be a probability that you get an even number when you are forming a five digit number using these digits the probability will be these are the number of favorable outcomes which is 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 divided by the total possible outcomes total possible outcomes are 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial so this will be equal to if I expand all of them it will be 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 factorial divided by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 factorial and if I solve it this 8 will cancel this 8 this 7 will cancel this 7 this 6 will cancel this 6 and this 5 will cancel this 5 this 4 factorial will cancel this 4 factorial and from here we'll get this as equal to 4 by 9 so the probability of you getting an even number while forming a five digit number out of these given nine digits is 4 by 9 right that means 4 out of 9 times you are going to get an even number when you are trying to form a five digit number using these nine digits so these are the three more solved examples based on simple probability problems and after this we are going to learn little more complicated concepts based on probability so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then